How's it going guys and welcome back to another video. So I'll tell you what that was a cold night this tent is it, it, It's not exactly insulated. It is so cold in here and I woke up this morning and this is what I found and um, we have got quite a bit of snow on the farm, so um, yeah, that's a thing. I think this is the most snow we've seen um, since we've been here, so yeah, we are gonna have to deal with that, I would say. Hmm, not ideal, but um, I don't really know how. I know uh, Zach has got a snowplow over on his farm, but I'm thinking maybe we should try and get a snow blower. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to phone around. I'm actually going to phone Clever Motors first and ask if they've got something in at the moment. Uh, before we do that, though, um, in terms of our finances, I have paid Jimmy $500 for the rent of the field that we're renting from him. Um, and also, we got our first little bit of YouTube income. So we got $1,000 last month, which is fantastic. So thanks very much for you guys for watching all of the videos. So that's a bit of money that we can spend on the farm, which is fantastic. Um, so we're going to put that towards a snowblower, hopefully. So um, yeah, let's phone Clever Motors and see if they've got something for us. And then we'll have to come and deal with all of this. All right, well, um, I spoke to Jason and he said that they have one over here. So I drove down and it's just sitting behind that shed over there. Had a quick look at it. He said it's running fine and everything's good on it. And there's no real issues. It's just old. And um, so he wanted $1,500 for it. And I wasn't going to argue with that. So I don't think we'll be able to get anything cheaper than that right now. So yeah, I think it's um, a pretty good deal. And it's something that we probably won't use very often anyway. We don't get that much snow here, so yeah. Wasn't wasn't really willing to spend a huge amount of money on anything. So $1,500 I think is a good deal. So we can probably run this off the front of the John Deere. But I kind of want to leave that outside um, for advertising obviously i don't want to use it unnecessarily so i think we might actually just try and run it off of the back of the white here so yeah i am gonna get this back to the farmyard and um we're gonna get to clearing a bit of snow so i'll see you there all right we are back at the farm and by the way i did get the water tanker um out of the little creek there that was some job i had to basically use ropes and straps and get it onto the back of the four-wheel drive to pull it out and because it was because the bank is so steep i couldn't get a tractor hooked up to it so yeah that was a bit of a problem but got it sorted in the end right so i'm thinking probably clearing up sort of around the greenhouse area here first um so we're gonna try and get everything over to the left there and then we'll try and shoot most of the snow probably into the creek i'd say Right, let's see if this thing will run. And let's lift that up. Get it off at an angle. Aha, uh -huh. beautiful. I'd say that's working pretty well. We don't have to clear everything. We just have to clear sort of the worst of it. Just so we can sort of operate. So I'm going to try and get most of it away sort of from the chickens and the greenhouse area. And then we'll come through and try and probably shoot it off into, let's say, the the creek or into the field. But um, I think what we're going to do is we're going to see if the drone will fly in this current weather. And if it does, we'll um, send that up and get some... Some footage of us clearing the yard. So we're going to drop into a quick time lapse. And I'll see you guys when we're done. To help us on our way. Always taking my breath. Whether sun or rain. The wind will carry us over. That horizon we see. Is getting closer.
All right, well, that is job done. And it's a little bit tricky because I have to sort of move all of the snow in that way into sort of the creek. Um, because I don't want to shoot it into the shed. I don't want to shoot it into the field. And um, I definitely don't want to shoot it into the chickens and the greenhouse. So, yeah, it's a little bit awkward. But that actually worked really, really well. So I got that put away. Um, I'm sure if it carries on like this, we'll probably have to do that again. But if we need to, I'll probably do it off camera. Anyway, um, you probably would have seen that the pickup truck is sitting on the ramp. Um, nothing major, it just has a small oil leak on the sump um, that I've been clearing up. But the plan for today actually, because I don't think we're going to be able to get much done today, especially if it stays like this. Oh, hang on. Hello? Right, so that was Jimmy, and um, he's got a little job for us, a cultivating job, actually just um, the next field up from this one. So he said that obviously we want to try and not do that right now, and um, so hopefully the snow clears up later on, and we can go do that for him. And he did say that he's got his big cultivator over, uh, so we can use that, because it is a fairly big field so that's good but anyway what i was saying is the plan for today because i don't think we are actually going to get much done in terms of farming and um, our fields are looking good and they don't need any work so i thought what what i want to do while we've got a bit of money as well is i want to head over to the house that we bought the abandoned house and i want to get a bit of work done over there because i would actually like to get that sort of done and on auction so that we can get the money back for that because I want to buy some more equipment because we're very low on equipment I think at the moment we're only selling one tractor that's that's all we've got because we decided to keep the white for now because of the front loader and um, it'll be difficult to sort of operate without that and uh, the quad buy got stolen and um, the other tractor is sold so yeah we're gonna have to look at getting some more equipment in real soon but we need a bit of money to do that so I think what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to head straight over there right now. And hopefully the snow stops real soon as well. It is a bit of a drive from here, so I'm not even sure if it'll be snowing over there. But we'll see when we get there. But anyway, um, we are going to go there and I'll see you guys then when, um, when we're there. We'll have a look at what we're going to do. All right, so we are over at the house and blue skies, no snow at all. So, interesting. I mean, it is quite a drive, so um, yeah, probably not too surprising. Okay, so um, the plan for today, I think this door is broken. Yeah, so that'll have to come out anyway. But I think the plan for today is I maybe want to knock some walls out and we can maybe get um, a bit of paint in as well. Maybe move some walls. Um, I think we're going to put a door into there. So, um, yeah, I think what we're going to start by doing is knocking this corner out. Because I want to create sort of an open plan space here. And um, we might have to do something with that wall there as well. I'm not sure I want to make the room smaller, but we might have to. Um, we shall see. But what we're going to do is we are going to jump into a time lapse. And we're going to get these walls knocked out. So, um, yeah, do a bit of work, get the walls knocked out, and then sort of maybe put a few new ones in, possibly start doing a bit of construction work, maybe moving some doors, things like that. Um, we'll have to see where it goes. So for now, sit back, relax, and enjoy.
Alright, so um, we've got the layout changed a little bit here, um, quite a bit actually. So we broke out the walls that was over here, so we'll fix the floor at some point. And we closed off the door that went through the bathroom there. We built a new wall in here. Uh, we moved the door a little bit. And this is the new bedroom. So it's actually still the same size. We just moved the door. And then over here, you've got another door that goes into the bathroom now. So um, that's something. We can actually get rid of that. And um, yeah, so we'll have to redo all of the plumbing in here. The doors are in. The doors are a bit bright. But um, yeah, it's sort of... We had to go for that, but um, yeah, probably a bit brighter than what I would have liked, but I'm not really willing to um, to pay more money to swap them out at the moment, so we'll just keep them. And then I went ahead and bought a bit of paint. So what I'm thinking is possibly a feature wall over there. So we've got sort of a peachy color and that we're going to do that with, and then we're also going to do the insides of the window linings uh, with that color as well, and then... The outside we're going to do with this color, which is sort of a biscuity beige color, um, according to the description. So we're going to do the rest of the walls with that. I want to go sort of neutral-ish on all of this. And then in here, we've got what they call a calm morning or something like that. Um, so it's a very light bluish color that we're going to do in here. And we might do some accents in the window as well, maybe a, a bit of a brighter blue or something. And then in the bathroom, we're going to do tiling, but I don't know if we'll get to tiling today because we have to do the floors along with that as well. We might keep this floor because it's not too bad. Um, this floor is going to have to be completely redone um, along with the sort of kitchen net area there as well. So yeah, um, quite a bit of work going into this, but um, it's it's getting there. I think the layout is better as a sort of an open plan. It feels a lot bigger in here. So we're going to jump back into a quick time lapse and we are going to get to painting. And hopefully this place looks a little bit more presentable in a few hours time. So yeah, let's jump straight into that and uh, get to work. Alright, well, um, we actually got quite a bit of work done there, but um, I did get some help in off screen as well. So I decided to change the front door out 
um, as well as the rear door because they were looking a bit worse for wear. So those are new ones. I ended up changing the inside doors as well because I just wasn't happy with the other ones. The color just didn't work. So we got those swapped out. I got someone in to do some carpet in here. The tiling over here, I was, about, uh, I was able to do myself, so that's good. Um, same in the bathroom. So that got tiled as well, the floors and the walls. Not overly ecstatic with the look of this bathroom, but I think it'll look a little bit better when we've actually got stuff in here. The thing is, it was cheap. So, yeah, and I had to lay out a few different tiles in here to sort of figure out what exactly was going to work the best with the wall tiles, but the wall tiles aren't that great i thought they were gonna look better but i'm not gonna spend the time or the money um to change them now so they're gonna have to stay as is hopefully whoever buys the house doesn't mind it too much but i think the house is looking beautiful so this is gonna be a little kitchenette area so that's why that is sort of a tile floor but yeah we've got a feature wall over there we've got all of the walls painted and it makes such a difference having the place just look half decent so the blue in here um, I don't know if it completely works, um, but it'll have to do. I, I don't think it looks bad. Um, I'm just not sure if the, the sort of blue accents there work as well as I thought they would. But yeah, I think, um, I think we actually did really, really well today. So I say, had a bit of help, so that's good. Um, but unfortunately we can't spend any more time here today because we have to head back to the farm and we have to go help Jimmy with a cultivating job. So we're going to do that. I'm going to head home. Hopefully by the time we get there, the snow has stopped because uh, I don't want to do that in the snow. But yeah, I think, um, I think we're not far off. Uh, getting this place sorted so I'll have to make a few phone calls and get some people in to redo all of the plumbing for the heating and the bathroom and um, also I'll have to get an electrician in to do all of the lighting and the wiring of the place so yeah and um, that has to be done we can't do that ourselves unfortunately um but I think it's pretty good oh we also made quite a bit of money out of that um was an extractor fan that was on there. So we actually got a lot of money for that. So that's good. It was still working and all and I didn't really want it. Um, so yeah, pretty, pretty good. But I think we are, I think we're getting close to getting this all done. Obviously the garden needs a huge amount of work. Um, but I don't think we're going to do too much with the garden. I think we'll just sort of mow the lawn and make everything look pretty. And um, we'll leave it at that. I don't think we'll go overboard. We might put a little pond or something in the backyard. Because there's a nice little sort of decking area. So we might put a little pond or something. Maybe in between the trees there or something like that. Um, but we'll have a look at that. But I don't want to spend too much time um, or money on this. I sort of want to get our money back. So yeah, maybe a few more days we'll spend on this. And then we'll get it back on the market. Um, put it up for auction and see if we can... Um, get our money back and hopefully make a profit on it. But yeah, so we're going to head back to the farm and hopefully, hopefully we can get out onto the field and do a bit of cultivating for Jimmy. But yeah, I'm going to get this all locked up and um, cleaned up and I'll see you guys back at the farm. All right, well, we're just about coming back up to the farm here, and it looks like all of the snow melted off here as well. So, um, yeah, probably didn't snow for much longer here either after we left. But we are going to pull straight into Jimmy's, and um, he said that we should use the big John Deere and the big cultivator that he brought in from his other farm. So this is the one we used last time. Oh, well. Okay, there you go. And um, that is the big one, I guess. So the field that we're doing is just sort of across the road here. So we're going to jump into the John Deere. We're going to get everything hooked up. And um, we are going to get to cultivating. So for now, we are going to jump back into a quick time lapse. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. Well, I saw you Setting the mood like a light in a smoky room Dancing to the blues like a disco groove Catching every eye When I saw you Looking at me with a smile like you wanted me Saying, boy, come on, will I break, be gone I just had to try 
Well, that is job done, and um, hopefully we'll get payment for that soon. But um, Jim is really good with that, so we don't have to worry about it. Um, but yeah, I would say that was a pretty productive day. Um, I'm really happy that we got some work done at the house, because I want to get that on auction and get that sold um, as soon as we possibly can. So we're going to try and maybe do a bit of a push on that to get the house ready to be sold. Um, so that we can get our money back out of that. Hopefully we make a profit out of it. I mean, there's no guarantee. The housing market is a little bit volatile. But anyways, um, but yeah, I mean, I'm glad that the snow went. Um, hopefully for good, at least for this season. Um, if it did, we'll probably get that in behind the rest of the equipment. And probably get it cleaned up as well. But yeah, pretty good day, I would say. Um, yeah, quite happy with that. But we are going to leave it there for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, make sure to give me a thumbs up and I'll see you all next time.